and cheeks again, cause it's the middle of the week again. It is time <laughs> for Nothing Sacred, the Hump Day Edition. Hey, it's Trishin. I'm Cruise Control. And I'm Maxwell Silverhammer. And uh, we are, uh, it is uh, Wednesday, the fucking 10th, the fucking 10th. Motherfucker, yeah. the fuck, not just the 10th, it's the, it's the fucking 10th. The fucking 10th. The fucking 10th, motherfucker. The 10th? Yeah. Of, you know, we had Super Bowl February. Sunday, man, so we but we couldn't, you know, really yeah. do a show we that night. We couldn't do that. You, you know, had but... to actually, you had to go spoof, spooper dole it. We were just boring ass <laughs> fucking stupor dole, that's what I call it. Oh, you didn't like it? The Super Bowl. Stupor bowl. It was boring as fuck. Well, you know what? You're right because it was it was really slow moving and kind of like, eh, okay, come on, score some points, jackoffs, you know. So. Yeah, like like well, yeah, it was like most Super Bowls. It was like, well, no, actually, the year, year before was good, but yeah, it was just boring. And they were calling a lot of shit, dude. Like, oh, this is a technical foul. We have to review yeah. this shit. Well, you guys you know, are probably probably barely even watched the fucking thing. You guys just probably. Probably bullshit the whole time. <laughs> Pretty, well, my main concern was the score, but it's, it took forever for the score to do anything. You yeah, know it was saying? a boring so ass like... game. It was like, and then Peyton Manning played like shit, and uh, it, was, it was weird though watching him do the Budweiser thing. Did you see the, the end of the game after the game? Uh, no, I think I turned it off, dude. Yeah, because after the game, he he comes up and goes, "Yeah, I'm just gonna drink a lot of Budweiser tonight." And he kept saying, "I'm gonna drink a lot of Budweiser." So uh, well, you don't know what you know who was paying for his shit. Well, that's then. what I'm saying, but it's kind of it kind of makes sense though because uh, he had an unremarkable game, and you know what, an unremarkable game deserves an unremarkable beer. So, oh, I see. My, beer, my, <laughs> see, or, my Oregon no. beer snobbery coming into play. Yeah, yeah. You know, so he needed some some microbrew, flabby dooby clubby, fucking ultra extra level. brown sugar. Come on now. Now, come on now. Come yeah, on. Okay. That brown sugar yeah. was dope. I'll give you that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But you ain't going to find that, that. No Budweiser, man. But, but no, he, um, like I said, I'm not really a dude anyway. I just usually pick a team, you know, whatever. But I, yeah. I just thought there'd be more. I thought it'd be a faster moving game. You know what I'm saying? So, you know what I'm saying? But, you know what I'm saying, you, dog? It, it wasn't dog. You know, it was, so you know what I'm saying? Well, yeah. I thought it was going to be a dog. You know but yeah, yeah, so uh, we're here on Wednesday, so we couldn't do it. We we're supposed to do an interview, but that that fell through for whatever reason. No, 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 yeah. no big. You know, yeah. It doesn't really matter at this point. You know, we can do what we want to when we want to. That's why we do this because we can. That's what makes it cool, man. We, we do this you because know? we can. And it's not like uh, see, I used to get mad when people wouldn't show up for interviews because you know it would go live, so people would be listening and we look like fucking retards. You yeah, know, like, like oh, the person was supposed to come on, but they didn't. They, didn't. they had to go pick their butthole with some tweezers. You know. Yeah, where now I'm like, oh, okay, well, you don't come on. That, that's cool. We can reschedule, uh, you know, if you want. Mm -hmm. You know, so this, this is it, not, it's really yeah, it's it's the safety net, man. It's and it's also the fact that you know you're not shelling out cash. You know, we're doing this on oh. a fucking shoelace shoestring budget, which means no budget. Basically, ain't cost that's us right. shot. So Although doing, shit, dude, we're still doing pretty dope ass shows. I think. Oh uh, well, we're doing what we can, man. We're doing what we can and what we will. What we want. To. I'm ha I'm happy with what I'm paying, man. Let's put it <laughs> that. Happy for, we're getting what we pay for, and so are you out yeah. there, listeners. So are I'm, getting I'm what you're fucking paying for. So okay, we got a couple things this week. Uh, I got one thing. Of course, I got my usual my thought of the week. I like to. It seems like the the, the pattern of this is. Um, mm -hmm. is that you have a lot of shit to talk about, and I kind of riff off that, and I have, like, one thing that right. I talk about. Like, you right. have all these little shit that happens during the week, and I kind of comment on it, but then I have, like, one thing that I do that I have a, that I have a thought on. And that's, yeah, but your, your one thing seems to, you know, like, really... You know, wake up the fucking thing. You know, like like addictive victimitis. You know, all that. Well, that's everybody who remembers that show is that's what that show was. You know what I'm saying? So you, you kind of you were the star of the stop, show indirectly. You know, stop. But, no, you're a star. I'm man. saying is that we 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 work together because I don't like to think about a lot of shit during. I don't have that much shit to talk about. I mean, usually usually because I'm like I like to react more. Like bring up the shit, but I do have fuck, yeah. You, well, you just have things, you know, and so so we're gonna start with things, which is our um a random rant of the week. Yay, yay! All right. So, so what the fuck the is thing, your man. random rant of the week, dude? Here, here's my my rant, dude. With just education in general, dude. The whole education system, like you know, the the problem is, dude. When you graduate, like even high school, you know, you might have an idea what you want to do. But you really don't know what the fuck it entails, dude, because you don't have any workplace anything. Yeah. So I think, dude, like, first of all, high school should be more, you know, fuck all this Romeo and Juliet and, 
you know, algebra that they make you take and all this meaningless bullshit that's supposed to make you a well-rounded person. <laughs> you know, instead, dude, it should be more, you know, job training, job readiness, job fucking shadowing, you know, uh, See, workplace. You I, know. I agree with you, but not for high school. I think that's really? what high school is for. I think that's what high school is for is to give you a real – because here's why, and I'll tell you why. And then, and then what college is for is what you're talking about. College is what, is what you're talking about. College is not uh, – Well, you know, even even in high school though, dude, because, I mean, you know, if, in high school, it's like you, you really don't know what the fuck you want to do and when you graduate. And that's my point. That's why you give a bunch of, 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 of general ideas of what people want to do. You give them a business class. You give them science. You give them uh, uh, athletics. You give them um, drama. You know, entertainment like music, arts, right. whatever. You give them right. all of that, so that then in college they can point to that, and then go to. That's why the big the big deal for me is 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 colleges do this. College has a well rounded education. High school should because high school should kind of point you in the direction, but not not make you pay for it. You know. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Well, I mean, I yeah. guess the thing. Yeah, that's true. Because, but at some point, I mean, fuck, dude. Even with college, I had no idea. How the workplace and that's what I'm worked saying because you didn't, you never got really got, you never got the the work experience because it wasn't about that. It was about the well rounded. You took fuck history of rock and roll and shit, dude. <laughs> yeah, I did. Yeah, I know. <laughs> which is like stupid. You're paying for history yeah. of rock and roll when this is no, it's ridiculous. That's that's high school. Have the history yeah. of the rock and roll in high school. Have all that bullshit in high school and in college, just be like, all right, here, we're going to do like, well, the a big problem now is that. Um, well, of course, it's all about money. Um, you know, oh Because yeah. college is corporate, and college is 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 a is a brainwashing corporate brainwashing machine that'll put you well, through and, and you know make you think about your too, sex man, and think. your race and all that shit. But then it's also, you know, it's it's a it's a debt machine. So it's 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 meant to get you tied in. It's it's a yeah. it's a it's a sham, is what it is. Right. No, it is. You're right. Because well, here it is, dude. All right, you've already done from three years old to eighteen years old. Which is, you know, what, 13, 14 years of fucking school already. You know, then it's like, well, that's not enough. Now you need more of this bullshit, you know, to be considered a human. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. See, that's why that does those first 12 years of school, you know, of kindergarten through 12th, should be f figuring out and pointing in that direction. And then, and that's why, if you notice, the ones that really, that college really benefits are the doctors, the lawyers, the accountants. Yeah, the higher up people. Not, not yeah. necessarily the, doc, the higher up people, but those who actually ha that are actually going into a trade. When you right. go, like, high, well, like, high paying jobs, really high paying well, jobs. Well, not necessarily you know? high paying jobs. I'm just talking about the, the focus is on one thing. Like, uh, just, like your, your majors or whatever were just kind of general, right? They weren't really Well, criminal justice and communications. Yeah, yeah so it wasn't so. really, it was just kind of like, all right, what do, you, what do you mean? But when you say I'm going in for a uh, PhD in, in medicine, well, then you know you're going to have on-site on experience for that. You're going to have on-the-job experience doing that. Right, it's you, very There's specific. no on-the-job experience for, yeah, for fucking criminal justice because – what the fuck is that actually? You know, what the fuck is right. communication? There's a lot that that how the entails. fuck are you gonna meld those? Are you gonna be a fucking singing lawyer or no? A lawyer who's a speaking <laughs> lawyer? You know, a lawyer who uh, a radio a radio a radio broadcasting those, uh, lawyer? Yeah. Judge Judy, a street lawyer. <laughs> no, you'll be like Judge yes, Judy. Judy man. That's, 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 seriously, that is communications, critical justice. <laughs> <laughs> fucking but, cops. Dude. That's why you like cops so much. It's like it's yeah, all TV and, it's and, and yeah. jail and all those kind of shows, man. Yeah, so that's exactly what it what it went pretty much. <laughs> So those so, guys probably have um, criminal justice and communications. Security, and they right? shouldn't even allow you to have that because you think, well, I'm going to do something. Like, but they don't really tell you what you're going to do because it's not what you're going to do. Like a lawyer, you're going to go through this. You're going to go to the bar. You're going to do this. Accountant, you're going to go this. You're going to take all the accountant courses, which are fucking hardcore. Um, right. And, you know, so you're going to be taking these things and doing these things. They're going to be part of your ability to get the job. And, and right out of, out of college, you're going into that. But with these things, like you get out of college, like I want to be a, a fucking – you have no. I mean, you're taking a bunch yeah. of dumb shit, dude. Environment. Sheriff, you know, Sheriff Casey Kasem. Stop right there. It's time for the <laughs> top forty reason while you're arrested. Why you were taking you to jail, bitch ass. Reason number forty three, dear Casey. <laughs> yeah. The no, top like, when forty I was in college, reasons. Though, there was a lot of you know. I had to take six credits of you know uh, humanities. Exactly. And, you know, nine it's to credits get more of money science, out of you. you know, shit that wasn't beneficial that, to well, my major. Otherwise, that you would just have these classes, like, and then and, and then you would wouldn't have to pay as much, and that wouldn't be that can't be tolerated. Oh, Jimby. Well, see, and it doesn't really. I mean, fuck, dude. I graduated college. I still don't know how to write a fucking resume. Yeah, and why? And why do why why do um, 
Why do you think uh, trade schools are so popular now? Because people are fed up with it. They want results. They want to get into something and get going. Yeah. Um, well, <laughs> and it's kind of funny, man. Like I'll hear, I almost feel bad for people when they tell me that they're going back to school. Like I just had a friend recently who lost a job. And so her be all the end all, I guess, and I hope it works for her, but she says that she's going to go back to school. And I'm just like, okay, that's cool, but fuck, it almost seems like you're going backwards, I think. Well, it is in a way. It is in a way because, because you're, you're, you're trying to start over. It's like, or you're trying to add this. Now, cause, now if you had, because there's different ways of doing it. There's, there's, pe- that, there's adding to your resume while you're working. Uh-huh. Um, cause we know both, we know people, a lot of people do that who are working, but then they also take like little classes like university of Phoenix and shit like that. Yeah. While working, while no, working, this is just they, like they build themselves up. No, this is just like, oh, why? Well, I, I just, I'm just starting. No, it's, it's, it's called gets gigs, dude. Is honestly, it's a form of well, gigs. It, it is because it's like this person has had decent jobs and they just happen to have lost a job. And now they think, well, shit, uh, you know, and they already have a degree too, dude. That's what's yeah. more fucked up. It's so like, now well, they want to change something because they want they want to go into something different, or, or maybe they burnt some bridges in that area, or maybe they just fucked up hard and like everyone, you know, what I'm saying maybe maybe the reason they're going back to school is so they fucked up so badly in their profession that everyone there won't no one will hire them because their reputation's so bad. Who knows? I, I don't think it was that, dude. I this from what I understand, it's just. You know, just she basic, lost a job, yeah, and a it's job like, and... oh man, what am I gonna do? Okay, I'll go back to it's like grasping for straws, man. Like well, yeah, he says, it's, like it's trying gigs, to find you know? something, and and and, uh, and gigs is gigs is good sometimes. Believe me, I mean, don't get me wrong, it's good um, because sometimes it forces you out of your comfort zone. But I don't believe this is. I I, I think that's just like a way of, uh, and people feel comfortable at school. People feel, oh, well, I'm in school. Right, you it know, makes it's oh. it's a false sense of being productive. And I we we both know people who who have been into that man who just I don't want to get out of school, you know, school. I'll, yep. I'll keep going, and oh well, I I'm going to this now, and I'm doing that. It's like well, the real world. Well, you can pretend you. to be productive when you're in yeah. school, like oh look, you, I'm going to school, man. Com- I'm not just sitting on my yeah, ass. And you can feel you comfortable know? because you're like oh I got an A on that test. Well, that's great, but you're 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 living at home, you know. <laughs> right. so I'm saying, we got it's, it's like, we got an A on the test. Well, I got an A on the test too back in 1993. That's how I barely passed high school. So, uh, so fucking wait, what are you, well, you know, telling me here? Like, and I don't mind. I mean, I, it's great, you know, like work hard in some ways, but it's a planned work hard. It's I'm working hard for this. It's not the grind it day to day work hard where you got to make sure shit's paid, shit's done. Right. And some people do that too, but it's it's but it's still like a safety measure. It's like, well, well, if I go in here, I might, I might have to deal with people, and I might, I might be like, some people might be more productive than me. You know, it's it's a it's a lane. It's a, it's a comfortable. It's a comfort zone. Right. It's a cocoon, an adult yeah. cocoon. And that's what, what that's what college and that's what college is, and it's becoming more and more of that because now we've got, the, of course, safe spaces and colleges treating kids like they're they're fucking twelve. You oh know, yeah. Um, yeah. You know, just <laughs> fucking well, insanity and, and, going on. Like, I would never go to college. I mean, I I didn't go to well, college. It, anyway, to me, but. it sounds so like God, dude. If God forbid something happened to my job, you know, dude, uh, I I don't even want to think about like going back to school. It sounds so unattractive to me. You know, right now, it's like God damn you, motherfuckers. <laughs> you know, I did enough school. I don't need to do more well, school. The, the thing is, like, the, the thing is, if you have a job for a long enough time, or even if you have a bunch of jobs, you have a resume of work in your past. So right, you, you have right. some experience, like you have experience doing something like this. So you have a lot of experience that you can bring to the table, and you are confident in some ways that you were you would never have been uh, before you started this. You probably didn't oh, think you were. No. You're probably like the first like six months you're doing it. You're probably like, well, ah. Uh, uh. <laughs> well, you remember those days, yeah, remember? Yeah. I used to talk to you about them. You know, like, oh, dude, I don't know, man. <laughs> you know, but uh, well, okay, like a couple years ago, um, I had an opportunity. I had somebody that was trying to get me to go to this. It's like an assistive technology, um, it would to basically to get an, um, a certificate to teach assistive technology, like JAWS and Window Eyes, mm-hmm. which would be cool. But, dude, school just sounds so goddamn unattractive to me. It's like I, I sort of blew it off. I was like, yeah, I don't know, man. not more school. I don't want to do more school. Because it's like, dude, I did enough fucking school in my life. I've done, you know, it's, it's like cream of wheat. I ate enough of it in my life that I never have to eat it again. Yeah, or working at a pizza joint, <laughs> you know. You know? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> for like years. Although so, I've been craving slotskis lately, man. I could eat I, I haven't had that. In oh, long. dude, I had a meatball marinara today at Subway. I've been having. Uh, by the way, I've been ripping them, dude. Something like <laughs> ripping them incredibly. fierce. Huh? Well, that's good to know oh. that I'm not there. See that? That's what, another benefit of this of this non-studio stuff. 
That's probably the biggest thing you miss. The biggest hole is probably that not being able to make people feel so uncomfortable with your nastiness, dude. Your Big, nastiness. Biggest hole? Yeah, the biggest holes they used to rip in the seats over at well, all That's what I'm saying. Yeah. It's the biggest hole in your heart is that you miss miss making people go, God, that's terrible. Yeah, it was great, dude. The whole experience of, you know, watching them sort of duck back behind the desk and, and wave. Or, or like Ocelot used to take that piece of paper and wave it over towards George. You know, that was always fun. It was, man. All the memories. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. With wafting away like a fart. So yeah, man, that's that's what I think about uh, education. One giant fart. I think it's just it's just a fucking like you said, man. It's a money maker and a, a ploy and a bunch of bullshit. Really. But everyone yeah. should have the basics, and that's why I think I think you're. I know high school. You're saying well in high school, but it's college, man. And see, because co- college now is basically just an extension of high school. Right. So it's just like well, another... even even in high school though, you should have some idea. You know, even if you don't, just do college. Well, they should everybody. focus. They sh- well, they should. Fo- that's what I'm saying. But 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 there should be s- skills should be for everyone. In other words, there should be like um, the way I see college is, is like more more of an internship type stuff. Like the way yeah. that the way shit should should the night my mind should work is that like you know you're in a, in, interested in a certain field, you study for it for a bit, and then you intern into it. You know, you like you 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 kind of like grow into it, and then that's how you and that's how you, you decide if you want to do it too is by actually like doing it. But I think even yeah. in, in rudimentary jobs like, you know, 7-Eleven or McDonald's, you have to have some kind of work ethic built. You know, like, okay, you need to show up on time. Well, yeah, and that's to... high school, and that's par- that's parenting, though. That's parenting, too. And the problem is that we have high schools. High schools shouldn't be our parents because that's what they've been, and that's why you're having this issue. It's because yeah, parents don't yeah. parent anymore. It's high school. It's all it's, – it's, it's school. You go to school. You go to daycare. You go to school, and so you're learning – from everyone else, that's why um, that's why Pete parents are like, I'm gonna homeschool my kid because I want to teach them exactly what I want them to fucking know. And right. Of course, that's well. Hopefully, they're strange. teaching. The problem though with that though is you get a lot of ignorant fucks. But they can teach. You know? But that's that's the thing. You have to have that. Have to allow that, or else what? Or else what? Oh well, well the government's going to decide what it's not ignorant and not. Well, you know, you're teaching your son creationism, and that's not right. Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah, but I what we, we believe it's my right as a parent to do that. Well, no, we believe that, or we're, you know, you're teaching your kid. Uh, we want you to teach your kid math this way. Uh, no, well, this is the right way to do it. But I don't believe co- the Common Core is the right way. Well, we're going to teach it that way. But we, I don't believe. Well, it doesn't matter what you believe because what you're saying is out of date and ignorant. So we need to change your mind. So that's how the slippery slope comes into in play. Well, I just remember doing. We did this uh, homeschool expo one time. We had a booth and. Uh, some lady just said some real ignorant shit to me one time, and I'm thinking, this bitch is probably homeschooling her kid. Yeah, and then you've got the teachers that say the same thing in school and actually see yeah. them on tape actually telling the kids in school, and not just one, their own kids, 30 of them, how black people being wronged. So you got 30 kids well, hearing the bullshit instead of one. I'd rather have 31 kid hearing it than 30 at, the, at a time. Well, that's, 50. I guess, yeah. I, I, think about well, it, man, because that's, think about how scary that is. You got mama going, you know what, Jesus is going to kill you, and that's why we're, we're going to learn about Jesus today. This is homeschooling, all right? And then you've got the lady in the fucking class, you know, the, this is the Black Panther. See, this is the Ku Klux Klan. Which one do you believe has the right to exist? You, if you said the Black Panther, you, you know what I'm saying? Like the crazy-ass fucking indoctrination going yeah, on. Yeah, yeah, well, either way, it's indoctrination, but I guess, you know, but like I'd rather you said, have damage. Be, I'd rather, yeah, I'd rather have one person be indoctrinated by some crazy who can break out of that and go, man, once they see the people, the people who are actually in school with an authority figure like a teacher, being yeah, like, tell yeah. them 30 kids, and then your friend's like, yeah, I believe that too, so now you're all believing the same bullshit, and that's what happens you get in wacko college. teachers, yeah. or, or the ones that'll grade you if you don't agree, you know, they'll drop your grade a letter, yeah. you know, if you don't agree with what they it's say. Insanity, you know. man, but yeah. A lot of that shit, actually, there we go again, a lot of that occurs in college too. That's what I'm saying. It's, it's that's, so. It actually mainly occurs in college, and that's it's, it's brainwashing now, so yeah, um, it's all fucked up. We're, another another raid, dude. Another reason yeah. America is doomed. We're yep, it starts in education, and, Jimmy. And it's, well, oh yeah, it's, it's continuing in everywhere else, because now like Donald, <laughs> Donald Trump just won New Hampshire. Uh, oh, shit. Yeah, and he's all talking, he's like, yeah, that prick, he's, he's calling the other candidates, he's, some people say he's a pussy. Or he's a prick. He, like, he said, fuck these people. Like, he's, it's like, I mean, there's got to be some kind of standard, man. You, and I know it's, you're like, well, a lot of people are like, well, that's just the way people talk. I'm like, yeah, but it's it's mm-hmm. also, it's also a, there's a decorum that has to be involved in, in leading a nation of people, you know. 
It's well, like, yeah, it's like we're going to go to fucking war, yeah, and kill those pricks. Uh, how many of us are going to die? I don't fucking know. Uh, right. Hey, are you fucking totally reckless? Or, hey, you hey I pledge the fucking allegiance to the fucking flag. Yeah, let me put my hand on this fucking Bible. I swear to fucking be your commander <laughs> and motherfucking chief of the motherfucking country. <clears throat> Excuse me, I almost farted on myself there. Well, I'll tell you what. I mean, I hate to sound like one of these. Oh, it's the less of two evils, but I sure rather have that than Hillary, man. Oh, she's scary. Yeah, she's like a fucking Skeletor, man. Oh, yeah, she's crazy. I, I don't know if you saw my <laughs> Facebook post. She reminds me of that chick in Reform School Girls, dude. The crazy yeah. bitch that ran the school. Well, <laughs> <laughs> you got to see that movie sometime. It's an old 80s movie, but... Uh, Anyway, yeah, it's a power hungry crazy bitch that ran this reform school. Is it one of those like girls. fucking like adult like like cheesy R rated fucking movies? Yeah, but you know what? Actually, it's it's kind of dude. It's like um, <laughs> it's kind of where I got the idea for my my Sanchez uh, bit, dude. Where these girls go to this reform school and they're being tortured, you know, mentally and physically and all kinds of shit. <laughs> so, and of course, so, they're, you know, being like fucking. Sexually, like like having sex. Oh uh, yeah, there's shit. some sexual abuse in there, dude. Some sex and stuff. That's '80s stuff. Yeah, they used to get get down with that stuff. Now you couldn't watch that because it's tra- 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 traumatic. Oh yeah. Trigger warning for someone who whatever. But Man, yeah, but dude. yeah, but but yeah, Hillary fucking it's crazy. Because speaking of Hillary, um, I might actually you know I'm gonna go into my um my my rant first actually. Okay, so and, and I got fight. a soapbox sandwich after you. Okay, did. so I'm gonna do my. This is our soapbox sandwich. It's soapbox sandwich number one is. The insane lengths to get, people will go to to just it's it's the extreme the extreme people who are so extreme and they know they're so extreme and inside subconsciously they 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 have they, they know they're so whacked up they have to make everything like like reasonable they can't have anything be against what they're saying and I've said this before it's almost like addic- addictive to mind of us but um, but it's a little bit different. And it's almost like a like a, maybe a symptom of that or something. Like that. That's definitely that's all about that. I mean, that's all about what what it, what it is. But here's here's what here's my example. The first example is Madeleine Albright or one of these feminists was talking with uh, you know talking about Hillary Clinton and about that you should vote for Hillary because she's a woman. You should vote for her because and especially women. If women women should definitely. And if you don't, there's a special place a special place in hell or a special type of hell for women. Who don't vote for Hillary Clinton? Is, I mean, do these people? Be, I guess they believe this of shit. Of course, don't? because it's all about the gender. It's all about the identity. It's all about their ideology. It's all about keeping. So that fuck idea. if they're going to do great things for the country or not. It doesn't matter she's a how corrupt. It's all about her being just like Barack. It's all about him being black. It didn't matter anything. You think the black people vote? Majority of black people voted for him because of his policy. Well, they of course he he kind of did have the same policies as a lot of them, but. Uh, it's because of the identity politics that have been pushed through our country for, for fucking ever. I mean, yeah. It's, oh, yeah, and if you insanity. didn't vote for yeah. him, you were racist and all kinds of other and, and wild also, shit. And also, you know, like the first black, we have to be, cause, could, because, you know, this, you know, it's it's about, because that's what they, that's what the country's been pushed to, is identity politics. So what the Clintons are doing, and it's it's hopefully, it's, it's going to backfire. It seems like it's already, because everybody loves Bernie Sanders. They love yeah. this motherfucker. I don't understand it. He's like... Oh my God! We're gonna change the world and die, 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 die. He just guy. doesn't have a spine, man. You know, he's kind of one of those dudes. He's like the um, what was the dude McCain? He's like the the, the Democrat McCain. No, except he's like more he's more extreme and radical. He's got some. Radical oh yeah, but I'm saying like the, that spineless type character. You know what I'm saying? Like the oh, day, day, you know, like uh, what's his name? The the principal on Beavis and Butthead. Uh, yeah, yeah. I guess <laughs> the, I mean I don't say spine in a way spineless, but I guess just. I just couldn't imagine him being like, I am your president of the United States. Uh. Right, you don't really feel but anyway, comfortable with him as your leader. So that know. was the first thing that got me. I was like, what the fuck? Like, you're saying that, that women cannot not vote for Hillary? Like, if, you, if you're if you a woman and don't vote for Hillary, if you vote for anyone else because they're male, then you are, then you are somehow, like, betraying your sex? That's a crazy <laughs> identity politics. It's craziness, man. Wow, yeah, that that that's way the fuck out there, and the fact that they're they're doing it so blatantly, you know what I'm saying? Like most people would say, oh no no, it's not because she's a woman. I like her policy, you know. Usually they'll hide behind that. But no, in this no, case, literally, it's like you 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 she should be like, and she said, I am an outsider. I'm not part of the establishment because I am a woman. And I'm like, you dumb bitch. You wow. Know, so fucking, you're fifty percent of the population. That establishment that you talk about that's so anti women and and women are out outside the establishment. Guess who votes more than men? And guess who they <laughs> voted for? 
the white dudes in the establishment all that you're complaining about. Yeah, not Hillary. No, not not what I'm saying. Not even not even even if they do vote for Hillary. You can't complain and say, Oh well, I'm a woman outside the establishment. If women didn't vote, maybe. Uh, maybe it's whatever. I mean, the whole point is women. The women that do women do vote, and they have right. been voted for white men, <clears throat> old white men. So mm-hmm. now, you're, and you're not breaking the establishment because you're a woman, because there's so much. It's just it's such a stupid. It's, but it's all she's banking on. And um, wow, and it kind of. So if Hillary it, was a man, all her, you know, let's just give her a dick for a sec. Well, wait, she already has one. Um, but uh, you know, let's pretend she's a male with the same policies that she has now. There's no way she would she wouldn't get as far probably. She might. Wow. I don't think so. That's almost. You know what? That's almost like saying, "Well, gee, uh, you, you know, the only reason your professors passed you is because you're blind." So you know, you could say the same thing about Hillary now. You know, oh, the only reason you got so far is because you're a woman. But but you know, but see, that's the thing. But then she'll say, "Oh, well, that's sexism." Like, what you're? But you're the one who's focusing on it. She's pushing sexism. And, that, and that's 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 uh, so <laughs> that's what I was that's what I was another thing I was focusing on this week is is God damn it just this this whole tiresome thing about. You keep you keep wanting people to treat you like you're. Ah, it's so annoying. People want you to treat you like you're uh, you're an individual, and then you just keep harping on the same one trait that you everyone. You, oh, don't think of me as a woman. Well, as a woman, I think of blah, 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 blah. don't think of me as a woman. As a woman, you you're prejudiced if you try to uh, try to think of me as you know if you if you wouldn't vote for me because I'm a woman, you're prejudiced. But if you would vote for me because I'm a woman. You're you're somehow fucking enlightened. Like it doesn't make any sense. It's just, it's the yeah, same thing right. either way. But it brings me to another thing. I don't know if you saw the commercial. I'm, the, this is the the Doritos commercial. Uh, you probably none of you guys could actually tell what the fuck was going on in this commercial. I can tell you exactly. Probably not. It's it's uh, the guy was there's a woman um, having a baby, and um, and it was like in the first quarter. And some dudes eating some chips, some Doritos. And he's he's eating while he's eating the chips. He's he's moving his hand a little bit, and the ultrasound huh. is on. And whenever he moves his hand, the baby in in her in her, in her womb moves like tw- like like the, each the direction the same direction that the chip moves, right? Uh-huh. So um, I don't know if this makes any sense. It's almost like uh, uh, like if you heard a sound in front of you going left to right, and you moved your head like head left and right to listen more. You know what I'm saying? Okay. That's okay. what the baby was doing in the womb, but it was because he it was like he was no, like sensing the chip. Like the chip was okay. moving back and forth, and in the in the in, in front of the the baby. So basically, the bottom line is he was moving it back and forth, and jumping around. So he threw the chip across the room, or uh-huh. no, she she no, she grabbed the chip from him and threw it across the room, and the baby leaped from her. You didn't see it, but the baby like <laughs> leaped from the womb to try to go get the chip. Okay. Okay. All right. <laughs> so so we've got a couple things here. We've got the stupid dad who's sitting there in ultrasound eating the fucking chip, which is of course. Typical, you know, and the yeah, wife's the like, man's stop. eat the chips while the woman's in labor. Yeah, kind of stop bullshit. doing that. You know, the doctor's there going, look at the baby. And the baby is, the, you see the ultrasound, the baby's like moving every time it moves the chip back and forth. Uh, it's like a magnet, basically. But every time it's moving the chip back and forth, the baby moves. And then the, the woman takes it and throws it away, the chip, and the baby runs, like shoots out of her, and everybody, and everybody starts screaming. Ah! And you don't see the baby shooting at it. It's like, it's like this implied. But okay. here's, here's, here's what, what, what the, um, what the NORAD people said. These people are called NORAL, N-O-R-A-L. It's like the National Organization Right of what is NORAL? Let me let me look it up real quick. I've heard of NORAD. No, NORAD is NORAD is different, dude. NORAD, <laughs> NORAD is our is our defense system, dude. Yeah, that's. But NORAL, so another interest special interest group here. Yeah, NOR probably. Yeah, oh well, yeah, another, definitely. Another, you know, you spe- gotta have a special interest group. You know, everybody needs. Everybody needs to be pampered and, and listened to and have a group to identify with. Where and, is this uh, here? What is this? It's a, it's a very left um, organization, basically. Um, well, yes, it's a woman's group or something. Yeah. Well, what they said, and I'm trying to find what the hell. Is it Norrell or, let's see, uh, Doritos ad tweet. Super Bowl. And this was just a Super Bowl commercial. Yeah. They do it every it year. Loaded. Oh, they yeah, they always that, have crazy they commercials. They picked out a bunch of, like, the one commercial, I don't know if you remember, with, with uh, Kevin Hart in it. You, uh, he was, the kid was having the car, and um, and it was Narrow, N-A-R-A-L. Let me see here. Narrow, okay. Let's we'll see what they had going on. Narrow, let's there. see. Pro-choice, pro-choice America, basically. 
It's okay. a pro-choice ad, and they and of course they're very, so they're they're. This is how extreme they are, and, and how out of touch with these the, are the abortion people, of course. Right? Yes, they are actually pro-abortion, which is fine. I mean, I'm, I don't give a shit if you carry. You know, I don't believe it's like. I don't think there's anything wrong in either way, um, a way right. of looking at it. I think it's a little bit crazy in some of the ways that some people look at it, like the, pro, the pro-lifers who go and bomb abortion clinics, and then these people who say things like this. Um, ultrasound commercial. Let me see. What were those? those what, basically what they said is that the tweets, this commercial humanizes the fetus. Now, think about this. <laughs> okay, so what the fuck? The fetus will eventually be human anyway. But that's the whole point. It's hum- the, the, the commercial is, also, is, is promoting gender stereotypes, the oafish dad and the uptight mom, and also humanizing the fetus for pro-life uh, agendas. Get a fucking life. He's, humanizing he's, the fetus. The fetus well, they just look for it. That's grasping at straws there, dude. Well, not only is it grasping at straws, but it's also scary if you think about it. This is what I'm taught. This is what I'm coming at it from. What is wrong with anybody thinking that a fetus, a human fetus, is human? You know why? Well, that, you know what? Why? You know why that's bad? Because if people think that human be- fetuses are humanized or human beings, then maybe they wouldn't want to abort them, and we can't have that. See, we can't just be pro-choice. We have to be pro-abortion like pro-death almost pro no life you know well, what I'm pro, well pro-abortion pro literally like well there's not it's not a baby till it's born uh, but there, there are people the that believe this, that even if even if it's the same day as like, your baby you get abortions because yeah. they were raped or because you know they can't afford the baby it's not about we don't want any babies in the world you know or something but these people almost sound like they're going towards well that's you the know. point no they want the, uh, the the total power of abortion to be in the woman's hands completely without any other say in other words they won't be basically be able to kill the baby even the day it's supposed to be bo- being born like ba- it's, 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 well, it's just if snap it's still, head off at if, birth. if the water breaks and it's still in the body they can kill it Jesus that's how that's wow. that's how fucking insane these people are because the ideology shifts them so far because here's what happens this is what happens. You've got a center, center group, right? You've got, uh, let's say, the Republicans and the Democrats, okay? Uh-huh. And this is what's happening in our in our world. And this is where my, my little philosophical thing comes in. You've got two groups. What, at first they're one group, and then, you, then they go, we know we believe in this, we believe in tradition, we believe in progress, blah, 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 whatever, the general. So they break up into two groups, right? So uh-huh. now you've got these groups in the two groups. At first they kind of mingle, and, and they can... You know, they can talk, and so they can kind of still get ideas, and they still kind of can be grounded and pulled and have people go, you know, that makes fucking sense. You know, sometimes it is good to be responsible with our government's money and not spend it on a bunch of shit, you know. And and the conservatives are like, you know, maybe it's okay, you know, to have a little bit more, uh, uh, you know, leniency in terms of social stuff like gay marriage and other things. Because they're talking to each other. They're seeing each other's point of view. But then, of course, the extremists pull more and more away. And so basically what happens is, You've got these groups that get further and further away, and the further and further away you get, the less you interact with the other group, right? So right. then, okay, so then you're talking amongst yourselves. You're in the hug box. You're securely in the fucking echo chamber. You're in your own little group. And guess what happens in that group? Then they in really go gr- No, in that group, you've got the people that are actually um, kind of moderate, you know, Maybe a moderate, and then you've got the people that are more extreme, and so they just start talking to each other and becoming more and more extreme. And so you actually got people that believe that there's that something wrong with humanizing human fetuses. Like there's something wrong with with treating fetuses in the body, like 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 that with a beating heart you can see in an ultrasound, like they're alive, like they're human. Because if they do that, if they think of them that that that, that they're alive. Then some people right. might not want abortions, and they might want to try to take it away. Well, guess what? That's the way things are anyway. <laughs> people already there are people that think of fetuses as humans. Yes, shit, but I'm so. saying that, and they can't stand that. But I don't. But my my question is, what's why is that wrong? How could you not? Well, think the, of the it? fact that they wigged out over this commercial. This, I mean, to me, I thought it was kind of funny, but you know, whatever. <laughs> I mean, you know, yeah. I mean, I mean, I, I could try to play the commercial, but I don't think it'll actually sound. Yeah, because right. it, it wouldn't really make sense. But I understand what you're saying. But the fact that they made a big deal out of this fucking stupid commercial. Well, they do that all the time. They could, because and, their point, they're trying to hide the fact that I mean, they don't they don't talk about the commercials that show like dudes getting fucking beat up by you know whatever. I mean, it, they need matter. to stay in their lane, man. You know, for 
this is ridiculous. You know, okay, let's let's keep it on abortion here, guys. All right, so there happens to be a uh, fetus jumping out of the woman. You know, that doesn't mean it's a, an abortion. That, but that's issue how now. crazy it is. But it is because it's it's their it's their fanaticism. They they really literally want abortions to be treated as as like going to the fucking McDonald's near down the street. Uh, like that's some wacko jacko you, shit. That's, that's, they want they love it. They love just be able to walk in, abort. Oh, I'm I'm about to be have a baby tomorrow. I don't want it now. Okay, kill it. You know. That's the militant. Wow, that's the other militant because extreme. It's my body, yeah. my choice. My body. This is bad as the pro. My body. Like you said, I, man, it's as bad yes. as the pro lifers that want to bomb. Stop, yeah. You know, abortion. Exactly. If you, if you stop me from, but no one talks about these. But if you stop me from doing this, uh, you know, then it's it's a it's a freedom of choice thing. Well, the baby is like literally kicking, and I can hear it crying from your crotch, dude. It's like the echo shame. You know, I don't care. We're gonna kill it. You know, a fucking. <laughs> so what? Kill it. Snap it. I don't neck. care. I decided at the last minute I don't want it. But it, but you could have it and have it put up for adoption. I don't want to have it. I just want it gone. But it's it's literally like we it's we can it's waving. The baby is waving at us. It's like it's <laughs> I don't Doesn't care. It's, it's still inside Break my his fucking yeah. neck. God damn it. it does, it, that's, but that's how crazy. Isn't that saying? It, at some point, that baby is alive, and it's not when it's outside of the mother. That's fucking crazy. Well, that, yeah, that, that that's really taking it to the extreme. Like, god yeah. damn, dude. But that's you what know. that's what Hillary believes. She believes that it's uh, up to the point of birth. Point of birth. Wow. See, I'm thinking, all right, if there's a way to, you know, to to get that child, I mean, I just at some point there's got to be a got to be a limit to me. I mean, in certain situations, obviously, if the mother's gonna die and the baby's you know gonna die, it's just you know it's it or whatever. It's well, then it happens, shit, you know. Then it happens. But, it, but if you're just like, well, I just don't want it anymore. I decided that my husband, you know, he he pissed me off and he really wants a baby. I'm just gonna, I don't want to blame it on him. You know, whatever <laughs> craziness. Yeah, that's wow, fucking man. bat shit, man. Is what that is, dude. Yeah, that's that's just crazy but, but that's, fucking. But that's, the, that's what I'm talking about. That's the kind of extreme shit. Just like the, the the articles that can be posted now about curfew for men. People actually believing that since uh, you heard about that stuff and and yeah, we were talking about that a yeah. few months ago. I yeah. think on the other. Well, that they have you know, they have more. There's been more articles about that. But just the a few for the, men because we were out sexually assaulting women at that time. But just, that, yeah, well, that now it's been like a because of that whole uh, you heard about that. Uh, um, what is that? Uh, the 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 German the thing happened in Germany on the, on New Year's. You oh, know, about the, yeah, the, yeah, the, yeah, the, yeah. the mass fucking the Muslims. Were, yeah, the rapes. Well, that yeah, that that article came up again. Like the idea. Well, there should be a curfew for men. How can that idea even be considered possible? Well, how does that? How does that I, idea I, even? I, I want to know who sits and thinks of this because, shit. The man. people that are sitting and thinking, the people that do not think of any, they don't have. They're surrounded by people like themselves. They, they, they isolate themselves so much that they believe these ideas are rational because the other ideas they're comparing them to are, are, are fucking insane too. And so they're like, well, this is progressive. This is what progressivism does. It does all these fucking crazy shit. Well, see, but it, it's... it's uh, see, progressive is good. I think progression is good, man. But, well, but, progression uh, is good, but, but progression for the sake of progression is not. And that's what, these, that's what this is all about. It's about power. And it's about control. Um, and it's about it's about vic- label victimization. Yeah. You know, well, yeah, like it's, it's regressive. It's, it's regressive, basically. It's, it's the liberal, the, the, gre- the gre- regressive liberal, or the re- yeah, they're calling it, it the regressive I mean, left. Liberal is not progressive, <laughs> you know, because obviously they want the same party, they want the same, they, they, you know, they're just well, like liberal. The, the term liberal is progressive, shit. but it's 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 liberal. That, but now, but in terms of the the actual co-opting of the identity, yeah. Um, yeah, they, well, it's the same ideology, same bullshit. But that's you why know? that's why these people start thinking these crazy shit is because they're so locked around their own people that they have no reference point to any of their differing ideas, and they deliberately stop themselves from seeing those ideas so that they can't be dissuaded from what they're thinking because their ideology predicates them to to not to to do whatever they can to keep the ideology alive. It's not about whether they're right or wrong. It's about making sure that the the ideology is proven right. Keep so that's it, why you've got cool. these people saying, "See, see, see, see these these men in, in Germany, they're raping people. They need to be men need to be controlled and have curfew. Women see, that's, no. That's not progressive to me. That's, yeah, of course like not. Said, but it, but that's but but that's that's the the progressive. It's that, almost that, like they're hijacked put, by these people. The you know, if you really want to get conspiracified, you know, it's almost like the, the media and everybody wants to put them out there and go, "See, that's what progression is. Progression is, is you know, to make you not want any progression." No, to make you well, not no, want they, any they want that. They want that. Nah, see, I think it's the opposite. I think it's um, that they that they're actively pushing for that so that we have these these things in place that keep people divided. Because it's easier to keep people in control when they're divided. Because if you're fighting against each other, who else? Who we are not going to be fighting against? Right. Them. Well. 
Well, you so know, if there's a conspiracy it, out it, there. It's it's all these people that say men is this, men are that, women are this, women are that, abortions are this, pro life, pro choice, Republican, Democrat, fighting against each other while everyone, while these corporate fucking motherfuckers make all the money and these media people make all the money and control us because well, we're not it. looking at and them it. going, you guys are the fucking problem. We're looking at each and other going, the, oh, that's white the way guys of controlling the white man is the using, problem, you know. you know, by putting stuff like that out, you know, to show like, see, you don't want progression. You know, because this is what progression's bad. You want to keep it the way it always was. Liberals and Democrats. No, that's, and I'm and saying Republicans. that's what they're, they're pushing more for that. I, I disagree completely. I think they are pushing for that more. That's what they want. That's why they keep saying liberals and Democrats. Because progression, mm. to me, because that's what progressive progress is. That's, but people, see, the thing, the thing is, Max, that you're not getting is that a lot of people do want that. They want to be... You know, have it simple where they're they're part of their own little group and they can feel goods about themselves. That's the way our world is. It's about feeling goodsies. You know, that's why they're pushing white people to feel bad about themselves. So what happens? White people get around each other, hang out with each other, and they start feeling good about themselves. <laughs> Which kind of leads into my soapbox. Yes. Sandwich, okay. So man. let's go back in soapbox sandwich numero two. Now this one, this one is a double because obviously it's um, a double standard. And also, I'm going to put cheese on it, since I hate cheese so much, and I hate this shit. So uh, we're going to put cheese and make it a double. So it's a double and cheese sandwich? What kind of, double, what kind of meat double, is in it? The, oh, out of shit. We're going to use shit for meat, dude. Shit meat. So a double shit meat sandwich with double with cheese? cheese. With extra stinky cheese on top, man. Double shit is cheese, it? double shitty cheeseburger? Yeah, because, okay, dude, we've gotten, some people have said some shit to me about the show. And, uh, like, one guy said something about, oh, so how is it you can have all these rappers on and spy, uh, spotlight their music and whatever, but then you turn around and say racist things on your show? Because you know why? Because me and Cruise Control aren't fucking, fucking racist. racist. That's why. Exactly. Because, you know? because So that should show you right there we're not. But, you know, yeah, some guy on Facebook, dude, was going at me uh, last week about, and he, that's one of the things he said, you know, that, uh, you know, how could you, you have all these rappers on, but then you turn around and you say racist things on your okay, show? Because, and you make, make... Let's, 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 let's clear something. So let's, let's see. Let's see. Maybe, maybe the reason. Okay, what happens when people make, uh, make remarks uh, at, in jest uh, to try to prove a point? Oh, uh, some people get f ended. Yeah, and, but what we're doing is we are basically proving a point. My, my, dad, my dad says it clearly, and, we, we, and I, I will always use this quote for me. It's being absurd to prove the absurd. Right, exactly. Like I, we, individuals, I'll say it again, individuals. I will never judge an individual based on anything other than them being an individual. You know, oh, yeah. once once well, once I meet them and it's out. Of, but if I see somebody on the street I don't know, or if I I'm talking to some customer on the line who's a blah 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 scuba, then they're I'm gonna fucking call it out. Or if they're a dinner dinner, let's 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 be honest. Let's be because see, no one fucking no one fucking comments, and this is why uh, this boggles my mind. No one comments on their own racism because no one cares about us doing the gish the bird the dick skating and calling oh, the fucking okay. redneck goddamn cracker redneck fucking white trash wife beater in the shower going me to scoot and looting beating we do it all the fucking time but no of one course. fucking cares because that stereotype is okay for us to say because right. we aren't a certain color and we're the racists uh, you know what that and, is and we're the racists that's black privilege money grip oh no that oh, can't happen. yeah. Black you want to talk about racist? white privilege? Well, guess what? There's black privilege, yes. dude. <laughs> because cause if, cause I, I guarantee you one of the things that people might be uncomfortable with is our uh, good good luck, you niggas, fuck you niggas, right? Oh, oh I already know because I already had somebody say to me, man, I don't know, man. You guys, you we know, can't he wasn't... say that. We can't say that. Then you can't drink out of the same drinking faucet and you can't yep. ride in the bus and you can't go in the restaurant because it is exactly the same thing. There is yep, no yep. difference. When you say someone cannot do something based solely upon one object that they have no control over, such as the color That's of their skin or their gender, racism. then that is racism and sexism. But no, yep. it's not. It's not because we are just immune to that. We we can't have that. We we can't say certain words. We can't do certain things. White comedians can't make can't base their whole fucking show around making fun of white people that a lot of black comedians and ethnic comedians do. Because you oh, know it, you. they have at least a lot. If I, that's why I don't like most black comedians, honestly, because they always got to be. And, and I wouldn't mind it so much. And this is this is the thing. I wouldn't I mind. I, it. I don't mind it. I don't mind the I would, humor. I wouldn't but, mind it either if if it was allowed. I don't mind. Both I, I, ways. I have a problem with the establishment's bullshit double standard of oh well they can do it you can't exactly Fuck you. like like you I know? wouldn't mind it both ways. That's what bugs me about. It. Like some of it's kind of funny. Like ah oh, I can make a joke about that. 
Um, but some of it's fucking mean, like Carlos San Carlos, uh, not my Carlos Mencia, but what the fuck is his name? Uh, George, oh, George Lo Lopez. George Lopez saying that white people have no culture. White people have no culture. It's like fucking. That's not even fucking funny. That's just fucking straight up racist. But he can well, say it, that in his comedy act. But you know, wh white people can't have like you know, man, those black people, well, man. Those but black I can say people that all, that Mexicans are stupid. You know, but that's I mean... the thing. As long as it's in a joke, it doesn't matter. But the problem is, and the reason that 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 we have a problem with, or I have a problem with, is that you can't, you don't allow it both ways. So it becomes a scapegoat. This it, it's quote unquote black, quote unquote privilege. It is black privilege, man. That's what it is. See, and and the guy, he, the guy's my friend, or the one guy's my friend, yeah. and he was like. Well, man, I, I just think you should have had somebody black there with you, man, to kind of bounce that word off a little bit. Bounce you know? that word off. Make it be okay. So maybe you should have a white person with you to mind your fucking self while you're farming the field. <laughs> no, and I'm, I, I know that sounds horrible. I'm just, but think hey, about it. No, you know what though? But it's it's like saying that. It's you a minder. Well what, that. Would you have your minder, your white minder, your black minder there to make sure that we say the right things? That's right. To prove that's right. He's gonna for, keep us in for, line for the black culture that no one fucking belongs in because because that's the whole thing. Oh well, we had to have a black person. Why? Do you know this black person? What if the black person's a Republican? Well, uh, what if that black person is a fucking Star Wars? He's a sellout, then, right? If he's a, because what if he's a black guy that allows him? Then it'll be an idea. uncle Tom. Think right? about it, if that that was revert. Think about how, how crazy that is. So a black yeah. person there to to bounce the word off of. Right. That's like I don't need anybody's like approval said, based it, upon my race. And if I do, then you do too. That's the problem. Well, but, I don't want then, you to. Then guess what? That would open him up to. Oh, he's an Uncle Tom. He lets these white people say nigga to him, and and he he laughs at it. He thinks yeah, it's because funny. it's it's because it is it can be funny because it's all ridiculous. Well, you know what? In real educated, honest to God, educated black people laugh at racism, dude. I've actually seen them do it. You know what I'm saying? Where, you know, they'll just sit there and think it's funny. Well, shit, you man. Know you tell, tell, tell a white joke, dude. I'll laugh at it, dude. What's a fucking white whatever? You know, this I, I remember I, I let Renacy listen to that Johnny Rebel CD. You know, the country guy that yeah. makes all the racist kind. He was laughing his ass off. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Because it's so, funny. Because it's like, it's ridiculous. Because we, we're laughing at it because we know it's absurd. It's stupid. And we know, we stupidity. know what we're saying is absurd. It's not like I'm like, it's like when when we made the joke about the kids outside who were playing, oh the little nigglets, oh my god, uh, fuck, we don't know who they are. If those kids all suddenly started hearing gunshots and we found out they are, you know, there was some crazy shit going on, you wouldn't be like, oh fuck them, those dumb. You'd be like, oh my god, dude, they were fucking kids killed outside of my apartment, man. It was the horrible thing I heard in my life. You wouldn't be like, yeah. ah, god damn, it changes. It's called context. Well, Things the fact change. that we even have to sit here and say and have this. this discussion. And put and, and lay this out fucking blatantly for everybody that we are not racist, you know, is fucking ridiculous. Well, but that's the thing we have to, we have to say that because we're saying words, man, and we're saying a certain word that we're not allowed to say, and we're making uh, we're making jokes that we're not allowed to say. Now we can make jokes about ourselves and our own, or hell, we could probably make jokes about other white people. Because here's another fucking thing: there's no such thing really as white people. So oh, yeah. whatever, hey, you know what? I'm upset with you. We're black people. <laughs> I'm upset. I am upset with that with people out there who are assuming that I am just white. I am part part Czechoslovakian. I am part English. Um, I I I am really offended. I mean, you're part. You you have some German in you, right? Oh, German so, and Jewish. So and, you, yeah. oh, see, so so you're a contradiction in terms. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh yeah. I shouldn't have said that. Oh, well, actually, I can because why not? It's just the Jews, right? Well, actually, right, no, I can't. That's, Jews, no, that's, that's, but that's, hey, if no, wait, talking about... wait, that's still bad because it's still bad to say that because I'm not Jewish. Now, if I was, well, I, I can. can. Some... I'm giving you the pass. Oh, that's okay. A... Oh, thanks, dude. Sweet, dude. I really, <laughs> you know, I'm actually. I'm an uncle you, Hitler, you know. Awesome, dude. Sweet. So we can talk about lampshades and shit. Awesome, because yeah, you're absolutely. here. Absolutely, and microwaves and, and Great. you know things like wonderful, that. Wonderful, <laughs> wonderful. We can talk about you know how your fucking German ancestors you know almost ruined the world. You fucking loser. So you should yeah, actually. Well, do you ever yeah, start, you try stabbing what? yourself in the heart at night, or, or try like like suffocating yourself because you, you can't no, live with your guilt? Because my Jewish side's got money to make. Oh, because it's a way. No, because oh, that, that's true. Your Jewish side's so, got money. To so make. I, you know, I got money. To, I'm not going to kill myself, dude. I got I got my big investments. That's yeah. You're that's not you're not going to kill yourself until you leave something for your family and to, to behind you, right? And then that's you'll right. kill yourself out of out of anger, hatred and anger. Cause that's because because <laughs> that's how you think. Because that, that's your identity. Thought. You have you you are only a Jew and a German. That's all right. you are. So exactly. since that's all you are, the two warring sides, man, it's like Jekyll and Hyde, man. One day you're going, it's like in Falk, and then you're going, oh, yeah, good, well, so good. Right. It's you like know, the, so, you wake up in the morning and it's, it's, it's other, changing. Too, oh, my God, I'm changing. Oh, yeah, why can't I Falk and Scheigen? He's so funny. I'm changing. No, wait, you, you said you're part Czechoslovakian and what else, man? English, I don't know. 
Oh, so men do you fuckers ever war? I don't or think you so. guys I don't, buddies, well, we probably did the English war with everybody. The English are the evilest people in the world. Oh, that's earth. true. Yeah, they, they want to create talking about a, a white, white Caucasian evil, dude. I have a part of evil in me. I'm like fucking, I'm like the Skywalker clan, man. <laughs> and every in every cartoon, the man. villain is always English. You notice that? Yeah, of course. I would destroy they're, you. Because they're white. They're the whitest of white, man. Mm. And that's okay that's to make fun of because that villain, goddamn black, black fucking privilege. Uh, yeah, wait, wait, well, well, I just noticed this, dude. You never see a black villain like, ha, 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 y'all motherfuckers, y'all ain't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to rule the world. <laughs> Bitch ass motherfucker. No, because black people don't have any, yeah. because black people you know, are, yeah, they, they're, they're, they aren't the villain, but they aren't the hero, they're the guy who dies in the movie. Well, oh, they're always the hip cool yeah. cat, you know, hey man. But then they die. They, they die. they die before, the like, the, like the monster kills them before. Like, I still remember fucking that movie. God, was it Leviathan or some shit like that? Oh, Leviathan's creation or whatever? Well, no, there's just some fucking, uh, there, there's this, at the end of the movie, there's, there's a white chick, the white guy, and then fucking Ernie Hudson. They're all swimming in the water. We made it! We made it! And I'm like, that, 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 that nigga's dead, right? Okay. <laughs> Right. So he died. They, they, they dragged him under. The, the monster <laughs> well, was still alive. You remember, what was it? Uh, Nightmare on Elm Street 4, I think? The black kid's the first to go? Yeah. The, yeah. <laughs> he did survive part three, though. Did he? Yeah, he did. He was in part three, and he survived that. But he was the first to go in part four. Like they got Part him. four, boy, they took him out They quick. were like, man, we can't have a black guy throughout the whole movie. Urgh. Shit, Freddy Krueger had... Well, Freddy Krueger was black because he was burnt up. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> so he was dark as Oh my god, we're so racist, we can't say this because we're so oh, serious, Max. We don't have we, black Max, privilege. We are, we are so, and that's the thing. See, I'm mocking black privilege because I don't believe in either privilege. I believe I don't, in, yeah, in I think people. it's all bullshit. It's all know? bullshit. We all have different, people are going to judge you based upon shit, period. Regardless right. of what you want to do about it, they are in, in, going to make, in, 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 as long as those judgments don't go beyond that, when you, when you split the surface and meet that person and actually judge them in, on reality, if you don't treat, if you, if once that person has met and made makes a connection as an identifiable individual, if you can still consider them, and, unless of course they keep fucking following that stereotype, and you just can't help it, like fuck this motherfucker. If you meet someone who goes, "Hey, mo, look, I'm rolling the street," and he got fucking four, you know, whatever. Well, the whole point one... is stereotypes. Like I, I, I it, as long as 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 an, as an individual, you treat other individuals as individuals and go beyond their race and stuff, then making fun of everything else is just making a point of, of why it's so funny. Because it's, Absolutely. it's ridiculous. We, we're celebrating difference in a way. We're making fun right. of it by enjoying it and, and, and not taking it too seriously because it's not that serious. And that's the problem. Now, here, it's serious here, to everyone is, else. Here's that's what why separates we're a race. Apart. I got a dude, well, you, you know, we talked about this before. I got a guy on my friends list. And, you know, he puts up a lot of posts about crackers need to die and crackers. And so I'm like, okay, fine, man. This is your Facebook. You say what the fuck you want to say. But then remember when he came on my status and say, well, there's always going to be racism as long as there's white people. And I'm like, whoa, dude, okay, now you're on my page talking that crazy shit. You know, it's mm -hmm. like, uh, okay, I don't ever come on your page and say, well, if you fucking niggers would, uh, you know, clean up your act and yeah. clean up your street. You know, so that's the thing. They can say that, and that's the, the, and, but it's it's okay to say that, and it's okay to be that. It's okay to feel you're supposed to feel guilty as a white person for some reason. I'm supposed to feel bad for something uh, I can't yeah. control, which is the whole point of all this racism talk. Anyways, is that it's horrible to judge people, uh, judge per people's individual people, you know, on the basis of something that they can't control. Now you're gonna you make know, generalizations. I feel like we could slam this home for decades upon excruciating decades, and people still wouldn't fucking. I don't get think it, they will either. They don't understand. They will never will because it's a it's it's the group thing, man. It's so ingrained that they don't understand, <sighs> and and it's a scary part, man. It's like it's like the, the it's it's almost like like this is how this is this is how the Nazi Germany came in in, a, in a, because it became acceptable to view one type of person as inherently immoral based upon their skin color. And yeah. That's what's happening oh, yeah. now is that people are generally saying, "Yeah, well, white people they deserve to be could they be made fun of." Why? Well, because you because you you've ruined everyone's life for all. Term well, no, we've done a lot of good things. Which and is bad totally things for counterproductive to anything. Of course, Martin Luther King or any of those guys. Because we're well, talking that's the about. thing. It's all about differences now. Like that's all about like it's like that because it's all about the focus. You notice that that whenever you talk to white people. And this is the funny thing. I like to ask somebody. They keep saying, "Well, we're the, you're the majority. We can't be racist because we're white and we're the majority in America." And the majority is okay. Then if I go to Kenya, uh, am I still? Are, is everyone else racist and I'm not? Well, am or I, even yet, better yet, you go to the hood. Yeah, 
You know what I'm Am saying? Am I? Because I've been called white boy there. in the hood. You know, I've been almost like, yeah, I'm not the majority there. And I guarantee you I feel some kind of oppression because I have before. And how many times? <laughs> and it's not because <laughs> black people are oppressive. It's because. It has to point out the fact that, you know, we're the only white people in here. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, hey, you're not too majority then, are you? And, and it's funny because cause I, I've said this before. Like, I've noticed that the only people who point out, like, when they're around a bunch of different, like, the black people are the ones like, oh, I'm a one. I'm the only black person here. Like, so? Why are you yeah. concerned about it? Well, because I have to make it a point so that you all know. Why? Why do we need to know? So we can we feel uncomfortable know. and we can, like, walk around you and go, oh, yeah, okay. So, okay, we get it. You're black. So let's just do some improv. Let's have some fun. Let's let's just let's have, let's not worry about it. Let's watch the game. Let's do this. So why are you keep? What are you focusing on that for? Why is that your only focus? That's because funny. it's been ingrained in your fucking skull that it has to be your focus. That's why you have these fucking talk and people believe, and I can't believe it, about the black community. Like, like oh. Bernie Sanders is going to talk to representatives of the black community. There are oh, millions. Like, there's our, there's 34, what, 50 million black people in this country, well, something like that? What makes you a representative? Who's a representative because of the black? Because they're black. They got the same skin color. But then they wonder why they're being singled out as why people are singled out racism. Because yeah. they keep having representatives for all of the people when they or don't leaders. represent anybody. Well, what's, what's this black leader shit, dude? I need a leader. We, he our leader, Cuba, Cuba. There's a reason why Max and I fight so hard against the blind center attitude, the blind quote unquote community. Oh, yes, God. blind people do interact with each other because, let's face it, resources and and actually, if anything, they have uh, disabled people in some ways have a legitimate reason to band together because they have to share resources. Deaf people yeah. have to share deaf resources in terms of uh, closed captioning and other things. Uh, blind people have to serve braille resources or talking book resources or whatever Assist assistive technology, assistive technology stuff. Assistive. You know. So that's why you're going to have more. But still, the and so there is a valid reason. But even then, you don't want to be like, yeah. I, I represent like like there's a fucking guy out there named like Bill Johnson was like on TV like blind people see we have a I'd be like fuck you you don't speak for me but you yeah. demand someone speak for you and then you get mad when people judge you on your skin because you have a fucking representative who's only judge representing you because of the color of your fucking skin well that's the thing with you these keep groups, doing like it it's not NFB just black it's it's women it's men it's these men's rights people too they're so fucking focused on being a dude. Oh, everyone's got issue, different issues. We need to figure and it they out. They need a group. Why? Why do we need a fucking group? You know, that's that's just one more way to put everybody in their place and yep. stick with their own kind. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Just like gay bars. Your own kind, gay bars. Negro. Why do you need gay bars? Well, we feel more comfortable. Well, then that's your problem. Get out of the comfort zone. If you don't, if you want people to accept you as who you are, you have to be around them and feel comfortable around them too. And until you do that, people are going to see you differently because they're not going to know who the fuck you are. You know why gay gay marriage is becoming so so uh, so accepted in this country by everyone? It's because gay people have been more open, just in general, about their not forcing it, but just like yeah, I'm gay. It's those yeah. gay people that, that turn the tide. It's it's the it's the fucking um, I don't know what her what her name was. What you had for uh, for uh, Charmin? Um, oh, toaster oven. Toaster oven. Toaster <laughs> oven is the perfect example. She never fucking just was like, gay, 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 gay. Yes, no, she, she knew she was gay. To, actually, I didn't know she was gay until somebody said something one day. And, he, and you're like, oh, okay. But the whole point is, you're like, well, she's got a kid and she's... Oh, a... or like there was, I was riding pair of There was a dude in a wheelchair who actually did an event one time. He had another booth at, at the same event. And we were taking paratransit, so we started talking. And at one point, he just kind of very casually said, yeah, yeah uh, something about, I had to wake up early. Uh, my partner's got to go to work. And so I knew, oh, okay, he's gay. Yeah. But and that, that's all there was. That's all there was. It, it wasn't like, and, and so, yeah, I am gay. And you have to understand me like that and enjoy it. No, I don't. All you have to do yeah. is tell me. Is, and, make, and then I'll go, wait, this person's a person. They're not forcing anything on me. They're not being weird. They're just being people. And that's how you get that. You, you make people by, by, just, by having them fucking forget about it. And, and, and here's the thing, too, okay? Like when Jerkman used to make God. the Red Lobster jokes and all that shit like that, you know, my whole thing is, hey, the guy's gay, okay, maybe he liked me, whatever, but he never came straight out and said that shit. So, you know, hey, I'll be cool with you if you're gay, you know, as, as long as you respect I me don't and don't care force either yourself. Way. Yeah, don't force it. And, and I like making jokes because guess what? We're not gay. So when people make jokes about us being gay, it's kind of funny. So because it's being, hilarious, I'm I sorry, think. because being gay is kind of funny. I'm sorry if you have a problem with that. Too bad for yeah. you. It's not like I'm saying I hate gays. I just think, I no. think a lot of things are funny. I think I'm fun. I think fucking gamers are funny. I'll make fun of fucking, yeah. uh, you know, Corporonicons are funny. Whatever, anybody's yeah, funny. A lot of shit's funny. 
You know, just any pair, any um, what do they call that? Anything like that a, that makes anything that that's that that can cause offense is kind of funny in a way. So in a way, yeah. the reason we're doing this is because we like to be like, ah, we, it's funny that when people get mad at one person saying something, it's so absurd that another person can say exactly the same thing and they're like, yeah, that's serious. That's great, man. That's a fucking mean man. Niggas gotta understand. Wow, that's that's fucking means a lot. Well, you know, niggas gotta understand. You racist motherfucker. Well, I can't say it because two, I'm white. I can't you know, somebody do else pointed. Here's one more thing, dude. That's, speaking of the Super Bowl, I guess. At some point, Beyonce made some comment about Black Lives Matter or whatever. Mm -hmm. You know, did you hear about that? She well, was here's wearing some Black Panther outfit gig or some shit like that, too, or something. Here's the problem with the Black Lives Matter. They only go after the police. What about the fucking gangbangers and the people selling dope? Because you that, know, that, you that implies personal responsibility, man. Oh, you're right. Okay, that, so that's, that's actually they interesting. They can't that. blame somebody else. They can't blame another group of people based solely upon the, upon the color of their skin. Um, for their problems in that way. They can make it about a, even though there are a lot of black cops that have killed black kids that no one gives a fuck about either. Um, doesn't well, matter uh, either way. Or a lot, a lot of, how, or how about the black guys who kill white, uh, black cops that kill white dudes? What about the white people that are shot every fucking year by black cops? No one fucking cares, and that's a problem. If it's if a problem with everyone, it's a problem with police brutality, that's a problem with everyone. Should it be all lives matter? Why, how are that's black racist. people singled that's out right, Because they want to be. They want to be singled out, but then they want to be treated like they want to be, want to be treated equal, but we want special. Yeah, we you might. can't get equal and special at the same they time. They want to be man. treated like, they, and it's not they. I'm talking about they and the people that actually agree with this. No, I'm not making a monolithic joke about they, all those black people. people. No, no, it's just the, the people that think like that. People that yeah. think like this and actually believe they they have some kind of like like uh, like legitimate like gripe to right. like say <laughs> yeah. that that you know like they like they need to be and like just the thing like you need to you need to celebrate Kwanzaa. Well, I don't really celebrate Kwanzaa. Well, then you're not you're denying my blackness. Okay, Ooh, all right. No. Well, then I'll think about your blackness. Why are you focusing on my blackness, you racist? Be, be, because hey. I, you wanted you said that I wasn't focusing. See, it's it's a it's a it's a it's a it's a, it's a self defeating prophecy or it's a self sustaining uh, neurosis is what I think of it is. It's self sustaining because. Because what it does is it allows you to continue on this spiral of groupthink. Because you say, I want to be individual. I want you to think of me as an individual. Then when you do, think, but then, when, then but I'm a part of this group, but I'm a part of this group. So when you think about them as a part of the group, they get mad at you about for not thinking of that as an individual. But then they keep focusing on their groupness, their gayness, their, their gay pride, walking around in fucking balloon condoms on their face, wanting to be accepted, and then wondering why they're not accepted and singled out for being gay, even though it's all they're fucking focusing on is their gayness. It's just a fucking mad... <laughs> It's it's double think, man. It, it's circular. It drives you crazy thinking about it. Yeah, like how it do, how do you consider that not racist? How can you say you can't say something because you're white, and the reason you can't say it is because it's racist? But the only reason you can't say it, and the only reason it's racist, well, okay. is because you're white. <laughs> well, that means you can't say honky. But no, I've seen a lot of black people not have you a have problem a dude on, using on the word Facebook honky. Using cracker. You think you use the word nigger on Facebook? You would actually have, you would maybe still having a Facebook page. Well, and you know that's it. It's, you it's think, like no, you no, you would not. But he does. He still has a page, even though he's saying cracker all the time. Oh yeah. Oh right. If I put up things about all niggers need to die or something yeah, like that, yeah, he would have. Right but he still got shit. his thing. He still has thing. Just like you got these thing people posting men shit, shit. You know, like oh, oh men getting the balls cut off and stuff like that. But they get to keep their shit on there. Man and says, that's the other hey, thing too. I love yeah. somebody will take one little soundbite or something we just said. And be, eh, see, they just said fucking. Because no, they're not. They, they don't. They don't want. They don't want to make. They don't want to hear the point because the point d d uh, goes against their ideology. Makes sense. It breaks right, their it ideology. Right. Makes sense. And, wow. Because I have been quote unquote discriminated against all my life for my visual impairment. Mm. Oh, I've been deplacized against. And me, I. And you know. I. You know. So we. We. If for all those people out there who want to say that, go ahead. You know what? You know what you're trying to do. You're trying to shame us into not saying stuff. If you don't like what we're doing, here's the simple thing. Don't uh, click don't watch on it. our shit. But yeah, see, what you're going to do is, because you're fuck faces, is you're going to try to get us taken off, or you're going to try to get us... Because you can't handle other people hearing things that you don't want to hear. Yeah. So you look at the fucking mirror and, and wonder who's really the oppressor here, because we'd have no problem with other people saying, I love all the dissenting opinions. Great, bring them on. You want to you call it, you want to make well, fun of... Are, you know, these are people mainly just on Facebook that want to fuck with you or, or talk shit or whatever. Oh, yeah. And, you know, one guy, actually, he's, he was kind of going back and forth with me for a while uh, on other things. And I was finally, I was like, dude, you got a problem with me or something, dude? Is, did I do something? And then, you know, we kind of talked about it. And 
he was like, oh, man, you know, sometimes I just come across as an asshole, man. I just, you know, so, and that got worked out. But the fact that he even pulled that out as a defense, you know, you have a bunch of black people on and you support their music. Oh, well, that's just him trying to be, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, why would we, if we're racist, why would we support rap music? <laughs> <laughs> why would we even have, why would we want to set up an interview that, that didn't Ah, happen? man. Or then you get the other idiots, too. Uh, did I tell you back uh, when doing STEM radio, this one dude, suggested some white supremacist guy come on our show and i had to explain to him that hey dude we will get him on but uh understand we don't necessarily agree with that oh if we had so some, if those, we could bring you could bring him on but we might tear him down that's what i'm saying and i had to explain to him that and the guy was like well it's good man discussion is good but i guess that's the whole thing man it's like dude if you want discussion we'll bring it on like if someone if we have an interview with someone they start bringing up any kind of that shit i'm gonna say wait wait, 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 wait i don't give a shit who you are I don't care if you if you come on our show and start talking about you know Black Panthers and fucking holding your fist up for Black Power, I'll be like, whoa, whoa, whoa! You yeah, want to be considered an individual, shit. and you're fucking fucking focusing on your goddamn race? Go fuck yourself! And I guarantee yep. you, I will. Well, so I'm we'll sure. see what ha- you know. That's what I'm saying. It's, it, 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 if it happens, it happens. But it's it, I'm not gonna. It's not, it's not about tolerating. It's 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 about if you want to. I have no problem bringing pe- different people on the show, and if they want to come on and. Oh, and, sure. And talk about but if, the, if you want understand. a white supremacist, we can, but you're not going to have a good time, probably. Right. Well, that's it. You know, like, dude, you know, because a lot of people get it twisted. It's like you these know, motherfucking women hater, fucking, like, men's right dudes, like, fucking men going our own way. Women are evil. Like, go fuck yourself. You're not, you're yeah. part of the problem. Get the fuck out, please. Yeah, exactly. The fuck exactly. out. So, you know, we're yeah. not, we're not fucking racist. Yes. No, we're, we're not, not fucking racist. racist. We're not going to take it. Fucking whore. Anymore. So, yes, man. Well, that was, yeah, that was pretty uh, I, charged. I think, uh, oh, wow. We, I oh. actually stopped the show early. I felt, felt like we're back at All Talk, man. So I actually oh. stopped the show early. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I have one more thing, dude, a little shrink wrap I wanted to write. Oh, okay, into. okay. So so we're going to do this. We're going to try to do this. This is our uh, sec part two. And if we have to, we'll just put this up as a little extra extra end part. We'll figure it out, though. Um, Something, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, so, okay. All right, dude. This is, so this we is kind of funny. Wrap. <laughs> but I w- I'd like to hear your opinion on it. So Sluggo, um, you know, he, he kind of did the same thing that I did with Koala, where he linked back up with a chick from camp that they were both really into each other at the time and whatever. So she's out here for a week or two. And uh, so I called him earlier this Uh-oh. week, and I'm like, hey, man, what are you guys doing Friday night? Because I figured I'd go over and hang out with him for a little bit, you know, drink and blaze and listen to music for a bit and then go home. So then I'm like, uh, so then he says to me, well, uh, that's cool, man, but why don't you just set your ride up for the next day and, and you can go home then? And I'm like, well, dude, you know, because first of all, man, I, I don't want to be fucking no. laying. I don't, don't sleep want, well you, at his you, place you, anyway. You don't want to be sleeping, laying there, listening to them fucking if they are. Fuck it. Exactly. And I'd rather give them their privacy, you know. Mm-hmm. And uh, so I'm like, well, man, you know, I, I you know, kind of would just like to give you your privacy and go home. And he's like, no, it's not a problem, man. And I'm like, nah, well, let me see what I can do ride-wise. So then today I, I set up my rides and I called him. And again, he started. But before I even was telling him my rides, he's like, hey, man, I've been thinking about this. Maybe you shouldn't be traveling home when you're drinking. And I'm like, dude, it's paratransit. It's paratransit door-to-door. is the whole point of it. That's the beauty like, of it. What yeah, exactly. <laughs> are you talking like, about, dude? And he's like, well, no, man, I just I don't feel comfortable when I'm drinking oh. and traveling like that. And I'm like... Oh, it's fine, that's, dude. That's I've done you. That's, that's good for you that you don't, but I'm, I don't feel that way. I feel comfortable waking up in my own bed in the morning. Yeah. So I don't have to worry about that, being hung I, over I going sleep. home in the morning. I don't want to be like, wait, I'm going, ugh. Exactly. Well, I don't sleep well over there as it is because his couch, I can't, you know, it's not a long couch, so I can't stretch out. No. Uh, yeah. I like to lay on my side. The only reason I, you would stay somewhere is if you couldn't get a place on, away home. Right. If I you can't, why would you? What's that? If you can, if you could, why would you? Right, exactly. Like that, the whole the whole reason to crash at someone's house is because yeah, like you said, you're you're gonna be getting way fucked up, and you figure you're just gonna doze off there anyway or something. But in this case, I'm like, no man, I'll just come over, have a few beers with you guys, and bullshit for a little bit, and then I'll go home, and you guys can fuck the night away, <laughs> you know. Mm-hmm. But again, he's very adamant about me going home, and I said, I finally told him, I'm like, look, man, I want to give you guys your privacy, and he's like. Well, you can't see us. He actually played that one, and I was like, "Well, I can hear you, and uh, it's just not cool. I want to give you privacy." You wish you could just be honest and just like be like, because the first first 
because you're because basically you're you're reaching right now. Because the honest yeah. truth is like that's part of it. But the main reason you just want to go fucking home. You want to go home to your place and go to sleep in your own place when you're you know have a good right. nice it, buzz. Go home, go to sleep. Maybe if you're not tired, maybe hang out and listen to some music. Maybe not go to you know whatever you want to do. Whatever you decide to do, you want to be able to do it after they've gone you know crash. Right. My question is, why is he so adamant about me spending the night? I don't get that, dude. I don't know either. There's only one... I have two possible ideas. Man. Okay, so so you go over your ideas, and I'll see if one of them is one of mine, one of the eyes. Okay, okay so go ahead. the one is, and he's, he, you know, we used to make the jokes back in the day that, you know, I'm the daddy and he's the son, you know, kind of thing. Like, you know, he kind of... Looked up, and he's even made comments that you know I look up to you as a mentor sometimes, and and that type of thing. So maybe it's like his way of saying, "Hey, man, you know, look, I'm getting pussy for real. Check it out. You know, like he wants to show it to me. You know, or the second thing could be that he's um, he, he's like, he's got the, maybe he has a weird value system, dude. Because I think this is like remember when he did his thing with Shell back in the day. Mm -hmm. So I'm wondering. If, like, in his mind, dude, he's like, we're such good friends, man. We could share the chick. Like, maybe he has some weird I was, idea. That's where I was going with that, dude. <laughs> you think, like, you, you I, think I, that's it? it? It could either be one of those two things. I mean, that's the only thing I could think of. I don't see any other reason for that. Like, unless, cause he, But then again, even when she hasn't been there, he's always kind of insisted, like, hey – yeah, like you know, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Even, even just normal nights, well, there's a, you could crash a here. Man. Third part, maybe he, maybe he's always wanted to share both of you. Who knows? I mean, fucking, who knows? Like, uh, that could be a possibility too. But what, what do you have to bring out? This is the, this is the fucking two thousand. As everyone says now, this is two thousand sixteen. You have to accept all possibilities and people. So you never know. Maybe he, maybe he's been. You know, maybe uh, who fucking knows? Well, why would you want someone to stay? Th maybe it's a morning thing too. Like, hey, we can get up in the morning, we can go to breakfast, or whatever. I mean, we can eat breakfast. Uh, you know, she can cook you breakfast. I don't know if she, she cooks or not. I don't know if she cooks or or not. But uh, but you know, man, I, I you know, it's kind of like well, shit. Like when Koala was here, I didn't want anyone spending the fucking night. You know, I wanted to be here with her. Yeah, you didn't myself. want anybody over at all, usually. You're... Hell no. So, <laughs> you're that's like, what's actually, so yeah, all right, we're hanging out for a couple hours. All right, you guys are gone. Bye. No. <laughs> yeah, even when it was over the phone, you're right. Like, okay, I got to call her now, dude. So, you guys got to fucking go. You know, mm -hmm. but for some reason, yeah, dude, he's got this weird thing where he wants me to. So, I almost think because there's been other deals uh, in the past, things that he's kind of hinted at and said. Where, yeah, dude, maybe he does have this weird idea like, hey, man, you're such a good friend. I don't mind sharing my chick with you or, or something. maybe he you know, wants or... to, like, maybe it's some kind of, like, because he has a weird, like, yeah, like some bonding thing. Like, like maybe, in, well, maybe, well, there's a th fucking third possibility, too. Maybe she is into something like that. <laughs> something like that, too. Well, you know, fuck. Um, <laughs> it's, uh, <laughs> this, I guess this it, might yeah, be an yeah. interesting show on Sunday. Yeah, I'll have uh, to tell you. But I, <laughs> I, I did set up rides to go home, though, man. And, and I told him, I said, oh, dude, I set up a ride to go home. And I, I was like, plus, man, I said I'm going to be doing something Saturday. So, you know, I don't want to be totally dead. And, I'm, you know, so I, 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 it's it's good, man. I'm there till like, 1130. And we'll have fun, man. We'll drink and we'll do our thing. And uh, But, yeah, dude, for some reason, he's got a very – he's really hooked on the whole, you know, crashing over here, spend the night. And I'm thinking, uh, yeah. dude, you got a chick there. You know? Yeah, it's it's either look at me. I want you to hear me because I've heard you all those times. Um, that could be it too. Like, yeah, remember me hearing you. Now I'm hearing you're hearing me, and and, and yeah. it's me. Or it's it's it could be like a Sharon, share, you know, Sharon, Sharon is Karen. Karen kind of thing. Yeah. Well, you know, even with his that one <laughs> chick he used to be with way back in the day when he still lived in New York, you know, it just called me while they were doing things, and oh yeah, you know, now he's going down. Oh, he's sucking my toes, and he, and I'm just like. Why the fuck are you guys calling me for this because, shit? Because, because, <laughs> dude. Oh, dude, you might. <laughs> yeah, I, I think. Well, see, and that's. I'm weird. You know, I'm sorry, man. You know, I'm, I'm just not into group sex. Um, <laughs> Do you want to? You don't want to actually brush against, brush your hand against his ball sack while you're. Yeah, well, that or dude, <laughs> just the fact that there's another dick in the equation. You know, even somebody else that we know, who you know, you know, who tried to get me to share somebody with them yeah you know the fact that they're standing back there jacking their dick while watching me with their 
significant other. <laughs> yeah. You know, I'm like, okay, dude, I get it. You're jacking off over your wife, but the fact my dick is part of this equation and you're jacking it's off. It's not going to get me. No, it's not. No. Yeah. <laughs> no. Yeah. Even though you may not be gay directly, that still feels very fucking gay. And it, regardless, it feels uncomfortable, regardless of what it is. Oh, yeah. You know, it's like, we, you know, if we're going to gonna label something, man. Yeah, it, is, oh, it makes you feel gay, dude, but still, you're, <laughs> we're just uncomfortable. So yeah, it's still, yeah, it's right. It feels gay, man. It feels it's just, straight. It's just that, doo, doo. Um, yeah, we're gonna go in the room now. Uh, oh yeah. Then what am I gonna do? Sit out there and fucking? Why don't you come right, on dude. in, man? You can watch. Because oh, because he, he wanted dude, to watch. I get, You know what? I could see. Yeah, because he used to do that here. Yeah, exactly. You know? So he wants you to do that there, dude. That's what I think. Yeah, I, I think, think right, so, dude. He wants man. to stand I there think, and fucking jack you, off in his doorway. I think dude. you. <laughs> <laughs> I think you probably nailed it, dude. Oh, man. Yeah, this is why I want to go home. <laughs> I don't want to fucking... Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> dude, all I had to hear was Stephanie going, Ugh! Ugh! <laughs> one time. I'm like, that's cool, man. You, you do what you do, man. I'll, I'll... <laughs> And that one I had no choice because the computer you was out. Stay! Oh, I don't want to stay. I just don't want to do it. <laughs> yeah. Well, it, well, I, and I, I think he knew, dude. With Stephanie, it was a no go there. Oh, of had, course. And I had a zero. But interest now he's like, on maybe he'll want to now. <laughs> yeah. Well, then it's like, I mean, she's way, she's, you know, fucking planets above Stephanie, yeah. obviously. But still, dude. Uh, you know. Another guy's woman is another guy's woman, man. You you know you do what you do and <laughs> well, do it in the privacy of your own fucking home. <laughs> well, we're gonna have to <laughs> when friends yeah. aren't over. We're gonna have to see uh, about about that, man, because because yeah, that's gonna be like I said. The fact that I I was because shit, dude. Some guys would have just been like, uh, all right, you guys have your time together, and uh, I'll call you when she leaves or something. But I yeah. figured, you know. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I think that's about. On that note, how, do, fuckers, how are we going to top that, dude? We won't. <laughs> okay, so hopefully I'll get this spliced in. It's going to seem a little weird going in, but we'll see how it works. I'll try to get it spliced in. It'll actually allow me to tinker with things. But uh, we'll be back. To, once again, this is the Nothing Sacred for February 10th. It's Wednesday, the Hump Day edition. Uh, we'll be back on Sunday night. Uh, yeah. I wanna, we'll have a report. Anyways, oh, yeah. I'm Curse Control. I'm Maxwell Silverhammer. And that's the story there, there, bitches! bitches. See you later, fuckfaces. (laughs) Racist bastards.